Now, a meditation on the simple pleasures of living. Jeffrey Brown has this latest addition to the NewsHour Bookshelf. It was an unusual international literary phenomenon, the six-volume, 3,600-page series titled My Struggle, and an unusual form, dubbed an autobiographical novel. In it, Norwegian author Carl Ove Knausgaard wrote in great and intimate detail of his life. Now comes a new book titled Autumn, written as a letter to his unborn daughter with short essays describing the world she'll be born into. Carl Ove Knausgaard joins me now. Welcome to you. Thank you. So after this enormous undertaking of the six volumes, you write a more quiet book, Letters and Thoughts to Your Daughter. Was that, were you trying to narrow things down? Very much so. Uh, I mean, my struggle is very much about my entire life and about psychology and relations and inner turmoil. And I just lifted my gaze and, uh, and, and wrote about the opposite, which is what's outside of me and, and what's in the world. And at the same time, we expected a child. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted, you know, to write about the, you know, the simple things, the simple pleasures of, yeah. of life and, and, and the world to her. What did you want to tell her? I mean, you say, I want to show you the world as it is now. Yeah. What, is it, what did that mean to you? Because it's think, not the big stuff. No, no, no. It's very much, very much the small stuff. Yeah. It is um, many of the insignificant things uh, I'm writing about. For instance, you know, toothbrush or toilet bowl or yeah. glass of water, and but also the sun and the moon. And yeah. it is kind of, yeah, I wanted the feeling, you know, to see the complexity of the world and 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 that everything is somehow valuable. I mean, this is maybe a bit naive, but that's. That's what I want to present to her. Um, that there's value in the, the banal or the yes, everyday. Yes, and the thing is that when you grow up, it's like you, you lose sight of the world, you know? It's kind of an automatic, you know, what everything, how everything works, and you, you stop seeing it, you know? Uh, and I think I kind of wanted to, to transform myself into a child almost and try yeah. to see the world as, as it once were, you know, new and open and fresh. And well, that's what comes through. I mean, you're... You're a writer wanting to see the world, right? Yeah. So this, is, this is your daily exercise, I would think, anyway. Yeah, it's true. It is just uh, like I'm... I'm uh, it becomes even more uh, visible when I don't write about people, but about things mm -hmm. in itself. Um, but I also wanted somehow... These are four books, so this is the first, and yeah. it goes through the seasons. And I all, also wanted to establish some kind of trust in the world, you know, to her, uh -huh. and that's very, that's a very important part of it. Yeah. There were some dramatic, you know, um, things that happened, and I wanted to, to ensure her that that is also part of life. The darkness and the dark thing also mm -hmm. is a part of life, and, and try to lay everything open, so to speak. You, 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 the, in my struggle, everything, as you said, was so introspective, and you, you have said that you wrote this because you were tired of introspection? You wanted to get away from yourself in some way? Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly <laughs> what I wanted. Uh, yeah. And it is also interesting because if you, you know, if you follow a path, so in my struggle it is my father and my father's death and my relationship to him. Yeah. If you follow that, it makes it possible to say this about the world. But at the same time, something else exists, you know, the world and the beauty in the world is kind of a parallel existence to that. Mm -hmm. And through this form, I could talk about that instead and yeah. that was that is the magic of literature and of literature form that things appears in them that you don't think of before you start to write but if you do it this way then you know things in the world start to appear in front of you and and I think that's why I write because I love that experience you know and you, and these were written uh, as sort of day, every day a different essay right rubber boots birds of prey loneliness feelings yeah. short essays there, it feels a little random, but I'm wondering if it was random. Did you wake up thinking, knowing what you were going to write about, or how did, was there a theme, a pattern? Um, it is very randomly. Uh, I love the concept of encyclopedia, you know, mm -hmm. where, the, where the whole world exists in, in writing. Yeah. Uh, but I wanted kind of a personal uh, encyclopedia, mm -hmm. and it is randomly. It's mm -hmm. like every morning I had a, uh, like 400 words on my screen. 
and I scrolled through it, and I spent maybe an hour before I could pick. And then I picked. Literally, both. I mean, really, that's how you did it? Yeah, yeah. And then I knew I have to write this word. There's no escape. So that's why it took so long to pick the word. <laughs> and then I wrote the word for maybe two hours or so, and uh -huh. and, and that was the day of of writing. So. Huh. Uh, and it is also a matter of composition, you know. I kept everything I wrote, so, yeah. so all the bad stuff is in there too. But the thing is, uh, if you compose, um, if it's just a one piece or two piece, it's, it's okay. And then you maybe have a third piece that changed, the, you know. There is a kind of a intuitive composition, like if you imagine a, an art gallery, you know, and you have lots of paintings yeah. side by side, and they can change the impacts of the one change the other. But it's all intuition. It is all about emotions and, and you know, uh, yeah, not uh, rational stuff at all. But that was all about you being. I mean, that's also part of what you're trying to do as a writer. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. I when I sat, you know, in front of something and wanted to write about it, for instance, toothbrush. There is really nothing to say about it, you know? <laughs> what, what, what I think it? we all have that experience yeah. every morning. Yeah, <laughs> right. but then you start to write and something happens and it's like the things are just opening up and you see it is loaded with meaning. Mm. It's so charged, everything. Yeah. And you can't think out that. I mean, you can't calculate that. You yeah. have to, you know, lose every thought you have about the world and just try to write and, and then it appears something. And that something has to surprise me, if not, I'm not interested, you know. All right, the book is Autumn, Karl Ove Knausgaard. Thank you very much. Thank you.